Hi, I'm Lisa McCartney and I'm here to tell you about our brand new numeracy board game Plight. We're just ordinary parents but we created this game for our own children to help them improve their numeracy and it really worked. We've taken it into local schools including some of the leading schools in the North West and they've all loved it and bought copies of the game. And parents have asked us if we can take it into their child's school. Well, we've been able to take it into some local schools, but unfortunately we can't go take it everywhere in the country, so we're making this video instead. With the new curriculum, children have to have a really good grasp of numeracy at an early age, and that then allows them to go on to do the more complex maths so they get further through their education. And we know that teachers are constantly looking for new and innovative ways to teach their pupils and to engage them with numeracy and also for parental involvement and we think that Plight can do this. We know that within a class there's a massive range of abilities um, and the great thing about Plight is that it allows children of all ages and abilities to play together at the same time on a level playing field. So for example, we took the game into a group of year six children and some of them were literally just doing their times tables. So they would throw two of the 12 sided dice and if they could correctly multiply those within the, within the 30 second time, three times three, they would get to move forward by the three, the number on the master dice. So they're just moving forward by three. We then had children doing three dice. So they're multiplying up two times nine times 10. If they could correctly say that two nines are 18 times 10 is 180, if they could get that answer within the time, they would move forward by nine, the number on the master dice. Um, and then we had children throwing four and five and some of them even pushing themselves and throwing six dice. Once you've got a standard, so for example, the children who were on three dice, what we like to do is try and encourage them and challenge them. Um, and when they see other players doing more dice, they want to challenge themselves as well. So we may offer a bonus to them. So if they can throw three dice, that's great. If they can then throw one more than their, than their standard, then they can move forward by the number on the master dice plus a bonus of, say, four. And that then encourages them to push themselves a bit harder to try and win. And it's all about stepping up a level and improving their confidence with numbers. We've also got, along the way, the plight squares. And these add a little bit of spice to it, because when they land on a plight square, they take one of the chance cards. And these could push them or an opponent forwards or backwards. Um, and it adds a bit of strategy. And also they start to make um, allegiances with other people. So in this case, it's move one of your opponents forward by the master score. So they may decide to move this poor person here that's at the back forward by nine spaces and then they're back round in the mix. And the great thing is it's never over until the first person reaches the winner's square. And it's not always the best person that wins. Um, in a lot of classrooms, it's the same people that are always putting their hands up, which is great. But in this, it, everybody's involved. Um, and it can be if you're performing at your standard and your level constantly, then you will be able to win, not necessarily if you're the best mathematician. And that's brilliant because it gives children confidence with numbers and they love playing. They don't realise that they're doing numeracy. Um, we've also played with low, lower down schools with the infants. So, for example, we, we started with a very young set and they were just literally throwing the black dice for number recognition. And if they could recognise that that was a six, they were then able to just count their way around the board um, and land uh, uh, to, to get to the winner's square. Um, we then moved up so then we may have um, a couple of older children or, or more able children who are able to throw two or three dice and start to add the numbers together. They can start to use their number bonds um, and strategies to add the numbers and again they're just moving forward by the number on the master dice. Once they start moving on to doing their times tables, they can fix um, one of the red dice, for example on a five, and just practice that particular times tables. Um, and then they're still moving forward by the number on the master dice. This way it really reinforces their times tables and getting the basics right with maths and their confidence with numbers. As I say, they don't realise that they're doing numeracy. The game is so flexible and it can be played throughout the whole of school and it can be played in a classroom environment where you have a number of games going on at once. It can be played um, in a small group, maybe with a TA. It can be played with an SEN group. You could even send it home to play with, with parents at home. 
Um, and one of the things actually that a lot of parents say to me is I'd really like to help my children with numeracy at home but I don't really know what to do. And by playing this game, it's as simple as that, you're reinforcing um, some of the strategies that have been used at school and really helping the school, helping the children to get confident with numbers. Um, there are lots of ways to play, lots of options on the, in the rules and also on the website. And we have on the website tips as well, um, which gives uh, teachers and students um, an understanding of the best way to combine numbers and looking for little links and they start to understand numbers more and get confident with them. Our aim, as I said, is really to try and improve numeracy. We know that plight works, it's worked with our children, it's worked in the schools we've taken it into and we've had some lovely feedback from heads, from teachers, from parents um, and that's what we want to try and improve numeracy and that's why we're offering discounts to schools to encourage them to play within schools and also to their parents so that children can play at home and as I say reinforce the things that they're learning in school. I'm Lisa McCartney. I'm more than happy to talk about plight any day. If you have any questions or any comments, please contact me. Thank you for listening.